Okay, so tell us about your parents. Well, Pop, his parents, both were born in Abruzzi, Italy. And when they came over, my Uncle Jimmy, the oldest, was born on the boat. And then the other four brothers were born here. Who were the, so, who were the, who were the brothers? There was Nicky and Rocky, all from, <laughs> it sounds like the Sopranos. It was Nicky and Rocky and Jimmy and Albert and Pop. So Pop's parents were born in Italy, but Pop was born here. Pop was born here. And one of the brothers lived next door? Yes, Uncle Jimmy and Aunt Mary lived right next door to us. And they had two sons, Arnold and Buddy. Okay, now how about your mother, Mama Shuley? Mom, parents were both born in, in Ireland. Mom, I don't know when Pop Daly came over, but Mom Daly came over when she was only a baby. So she was here all the time, most of the time. So what was it like growing up in Philadelphia? What's it was simple. We played uh, what did we play? Jacks on the step. When it would rain, we had an, an entryway in the living room, like there was a front door, then there was an entry, and then there was a door into the living room. And when it would rain, mom would open the front door and we would sit in the entryway and play games. And we would play ball in the street and we would skate and it was just all, you know, simple things. We'd catch fireflies in jars. That was our nightly entertainment. All right, so let's go back to Pop. Did, uh, did Pop go to high school? I don't think so. From what I can remember, when he died, he had worked at Edwards for 50 years, and he died at 64. So that meant he started working there when he was 14. So I doubt if he went to high school. And what was his job? As, as an older man, he was a shoe leather cutter, and it was all piecework. So he only got paid for what he produced. And if he had a bad piece of leather with uh, you know, marks damaged in it, he'd have to work around that bad piece of leather. So that wouldn't be a very good day. So it was just all piecework. How about mom? Did she ever work? For a brief time. After one of Pop's heart attacks, she thought she should go to work to help out. So she went to work in the school cafeteria at Southern High at Broad and Snyder. And she lasted two weeks because she didn't like what they were having her do. So she quit. So what was Pop like? I remember him as being very patient and, uh, you know, could fix things around the house. Pop was a saint. If mom wanted the moon, Pop would have gotten it for her. At night, after dinner, she automatically went in the living room and sat and read the paper, and Pop would automatically clean up the kitchen. Of course, he couldn't stand stuff laying around. And she would repeatedly say, Charlie, don't do that. I'll take care of it. But and if she wanted ice cream, all she had to say was, Charlie, I could really go for an ice cream cone. And Pop was on his way to Mary's. Uh, I want. And Mary's is a place where I used to get in a lot of trouble because they had a pinball machine and I used to get a lot of free games. So Mom would send me to the grocery store the next street over and on my way home, I would stop and play the pinball machine. Did he ever complain about his job? No vacation, right? No vacation. Never had. He used to take us to Wildwood on the train. We would get the trolley to Market Street, take the ferry to Camden, 
to get the train to go to Wildwood. And he would take us down and come back home the same way. And then the week later, he would come down and get us. But all those years, he never had a vacation. So did he complain about that? Did he... I never heard him complain about anything. He remodeled the house. If mom wanted things painted, he painted them and fixed everything. And when we were married and he came to our house, our, your dad had a list of things that needed to be fixed. So what was mom like? Oh, mom was very mom. <laughs> There's a story about how Uncle Franny got a new bike and she wouldn't let him ride. No, he got a beautiful brown and and cream color, what was it called? Silver. A Silver King bike, which was the Cadillac of bikes. And she had so many medals hanging on it, I don't know how he even pedaled it uphill. And I think he rode it for a month or two. and. The whole time he was on it, I can remember her standing at the front door waiting for him to come back. And that bike wound up in the cellar hanging from the rafters because he wasn't allowed to ride it. And I never had a bike, so therefore I never knew how to ride a bike. And we skated, we did skate a lot. So you, you went swimming at uh, what's now FDR Park? Yes, we went to what was the lakes, and we would pack up the wagon and walk to the lakes, Mom and Franny and I, and we would spend the day, pack a lunch. It was a really nice place. And then there was the swimmies, which of course we weren't allowed to go to because it was a public pool. And, but Franny used to sneak in with his friends but you couldn't go in with a wet bathing suit. Like you only could stay for an hour and then you had to leave. So, but you couldn't go back in with a wet bathing suit because then they knew that you were already there. So the kids used to throw their bathing suits under the tires of the cars to wring them out. But I was never allowed at the swimmies with all those people. So Uncle Franny, you, so you had a brother, yes, six years older. Yes. Were you guys close? Well, I was his little sister, which I think I annoyed him a lot. But then, as we grew up, we became very close. He frequently said he was going to put my head through the wall. So I guess I did something that annoyed him. Of course, Mom had a comment for that. And mom did not spare the rod at all. If you said what? If we got called from outside to come home and we said what? Mom stood in the doorway and she was a very big lady at the time and she stood in the doorway and we had to try to get past her. And we would squeeze by her and get whacked as we passed her for saying what? 